Atlanta's police chief is getting settled into the job, but he has a big task on his hands, turning around crime. This all in the face of criticism from some Buckhead residents who want to break away from the city. CBS 46's Haley Mason live in Midtown with how he's addressing it all. Haley. Rick, I sat down with police chief Rodney Bryant, who will discuss his long term and short term goals, his staffing needs and concerns he has about so many young people having guns. But he also shares a message about what he thinks with people up that road who want to start their own police force. Atlanta Police Chief Rodney Bryant tells me he's honored to lead Atlanta's police force, though admits it's a daunting task. About a month into the full-time role, he's charged with bringing a stop to surging violent crimes and trying to rebuild a fractured police force. Things could be better, but we, we're, I believe we're on the right path. He says long-term, he's focusing on getting staffing stabled after dozens of officers left the force last summer. But first... And my short-term goal is to put a very aggressive plan to address the violent crime that we're seeing. Murders, rape and assaults have gone up in the last year and gun violence has become a near daily occurrence. One motivating reason some in the Buckhead community are trying to leave the city of Atlanta to form their own as well as their own police force. The Buckhead group says it's tallied about 80 officers assigned to zone two, which covers Buckhead. They say their new city could have more. I think the chief is wrong. Um, I hate to disagree with them on television, but our force numbers that we're going to be using in Buckhead City are going to be a multiple of that 80 number. So I would expect to see anywhere from 200 to 300 Buckhead City police officers maintaining that 32 mile jurisdiction. But APD tells me they actually have 121 officers there. The majority are assigned to the street, but that number doesn't include commanders and the other resources they call in. Regardless of where you change your name to, um, you won't have we remain the largest police department uh, in this in the state and we have the most resources available to respond to any given incidences throughout this city. Still one concerning trend is the number of teens with guns committing crimes. Bryant wants that to change too. I say to those parents, as I say to our society as a whole, is public safety goes beyond just the police department. It takes all of us to really be engaged. We cannot take our foot off of the pedal. We have to be more attentive to our kids. And Brian also tells me that due to the pandemic, some other criminal justice resources just aren't fully operating from probation and parole enforcement to other community services that help with overall policing. He does say on a positive note that they have been able to recruit some more officers to the force. Reporting live in Midtown Atlanta, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you.